So hey, what's up? What's TF? What's up baddies welcome and welcome back to my channel so today we are back with another try on and review so we're gonna be trying out elf's new putty bronzer i got these in three shades so we'll be doing swatches and everything and if you guys would like to learn more about this bronzer stay tuned and make sure you guys like this video and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss my next video okay baddies period so it looks like they have eight shades of these so i got the last three so they say that this is a unique putty to powder formula with a semi matte finish gives skin a natural sun kiss glow highly pigmented builds color smooths and evens out your complexion lightweight non-greasy wear and rich in moisturizing argan oil and vitamin e and they say this is great for all skin types so for my sunscreen i'm going to be using my urban skin rx sheer glow even tone daily defense mineral moisturizer and this has an spf of 30 okay so that's what it looks like and it says it's supposed to be clear so let's let's see let us see Mm. <laughs> it's not too thick though. Or it gets thick. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of see a little some some, but it's not too bad of a primer. So I did also pick up this Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So this is what I'm gonna use as my primer today. Ooh, it's kind of liquidy. I'm definitely mixing up with the sunscreen. Oh, but I do feel it tacking up. Yo, this looks crazy. That was like a really bad combination. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my LYS foundation. I think I like the primer. So I think this is the step where I'm gonna swatch the bronzer so I can easily remove and then reapply and then get into business, okay? And I was so excited to see that they were dropping these bronzers in the shade ranges that my eyes could have been deceiving me, but it's giving, okay? So I'm so excited to share this with you all to see what you guys think about it, to see what I think about it. So let's get into it. So I ordered three of the deepest shades in the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I got the shades Sunkissed, Beach Please, and Cabana Cutie. So I'm going to swatch these individually onto my face so I can figure out which one I want to use. I think I'm going to use Beach Please though because Sunkiss looks kind of skin tone range-ish. And the box it says it's infused with argan oil and vitamin E oil. Okay, so this one that I'm swatching, this is called Sunkissed. And see, this looks kind of like my foundation shade. So this is the third to the last shade. It feels real thin, real... I could possibly use that as a bronzer shade, honestly. Mm. But you know, the girls love the dramatics. That's for a light bronze, you know, for a light day. So that one is Sun Kiss. This shade right here is Beach Please. This is the one I think that I'm going to be using. 
Ooh, that's really deep. Like super duper deep. So this one is Beach Please. This one right here is Beach Please. And that is Sun Kissed. And this last one right here is Cabana Cutie. I really like how this looks really red. Like Beach Please to me is kind of giving me contour vibes. It's not maybe blended out you'll see the bronze in it but it's giving contour vibes you can see it's more red than this one is i don't know if you guys can see so that one is cabana cutie we get into these swatches so i'm going to use beach please i wish i could use cabana cutie maybe we'll use her towards the top like you know and gradually build it out but the shade Sunkissed, that's kind of like my foundation shade. So we will not be using her. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. So for my concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Olive. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the putty bronzer. I'm going into the shade, let me make sure it's the right one, Beach Please. And the brush I'm going to be using, I actually got to pick this out as like a free gift with my order. So this is the Glow Up Body Brush. This is how it looks. Like so. So I'm going to be using that, even though it's way bigger compared to the bronzer, but we move though, right? So I'm just going to stipple that on. Ooh. Oh, this bronzer is definitely lit. Purr. So I definitely think if this bronzer was bigger or if this brush was smaller, it would be so much better. But it's definitely giving... Do y'all think it's giving bronze? It looks like it's giving bronze on this side. I think it's giving bronze on that side too. It says, okay, what's up? What's tea, Elf? What's really good? What's really good? Okay, purr. It's definitely bronzing. Now let's try some of this. The Cabana Cutie. And we're just going to put this towards the top like we're not going to bring it down so kind of like a baby gradient effect but lately these brands have been coming through with the bronzers and i'm so here for it i'm not even going to try to set this with a powder bronzer but it's kind of self-setting itself already it's like not as liquidy let me put this down because i'm clearly getting bronzer happy clearly yeah i might have overdid it with the bronzers now i'm gonna sit under my eyes if i don't say what i'm using in the video on my face i'm gonna have everything link and listed down below in the order of usage so don't worry i got y'all period
Okay, so I think I want to use the other, the Sunkiss bronzer to bronze my nose. This might be a mistake because I really don't do cream on the nose area. Hopefully this comes out cute. Okay, so I have another idea. I think I want to use that darkest shade, Cabana Cutie. I want to use Cabana Cutie and I want to use this like as like a one eyeshadow type look deal. So we're going to use this all over eye shade eyelid. And I'm going to be using one of my crayon case brushes for this. And I might set it with my translucent powder so it won't be that satiny look, you know. So I'm just setting this with translucent powder. And just look at how beautiful purr. I forgot which artist I saw that does this, but they use like, I think it's like a cream foundation stick as an eyeshadow. And they're like, they do mainly like the one eyeshadow look. You know what I'm talking about? Like the smoky, the brown. I feel like it was Kevin Long, but I don't know. Cause I don't think he really has that many videos on his page actually doing it. But when I saw that, I thought that was genius because you don't have to work as hard to build up the brown shade. Make sure you pick out the perfect brown shade, you know, it's just order dramatics. Okay, so I'm going in with the Pat McGrath highlighter. I think this is, I forgot what it's called, something nectar, golden nectar. And use this, it's just a highlight from a tear duct area. And I'm finished the rest of my face and I'll be back. So this is the final look. We bronzed up, looking good. So those bronzers, it's a hit. Um, I can't believe they were only $6 a piece. And the shade range. We did the nose contour, we did the eyes, the bronzing, even bronzed the face. The face is bronzed up, yeah. We ready to hit the streets. Wow, the bronzers, they've been coming with it, with the bronzers, okay? They have been coming with it. Okay, look, I got a bronzer, a cream bronzer. So yeah, I mean, it's nothing much else for me to say. It did what it was supposed to do and I am so here for it. Like, I know I usually say I'm here for everything, but I'm here for this. I didn't use any powder bronzer, like what? I'm loving this, I'm loving this. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys think about this bronzer. And if you guys have tried it out already, what do you guys think about it? But until next time, baddies, bye.
I'm your man, I'm just a fan.